Libra, Libra, Libra. Sing it, Jazz. Libra, this is going to be your message for this week, my loves. Let's see what we have. Since you got both of us trying to sing to you this week. Libras, what do we have? Messages for my Libras. Any guidance, spirit? Any guidance? Let's see. All right. Libra, 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 spirit. We want good messages. Oh. Somebody gonna get some good, good passion card. What are you passionate about? What are you passionate about? If this is piggybacking off of that love thing, some of y'all getting it in Libras. Mm -mm -mm. What you say? Wait, look, we ain't talking about me. Yes, it's showing Libras. All right, I don't know what's going on. I don't, you know, this it's happening. It may not be happening for everybody, but it's happening. Some of you definitely are making a connection with someone, and it looks like it's a very passionate connection. So it kind of goes back to that thing of like, oh, yeah, I'm falling in love. I'm falling in love. Now, let's see. We got watch your mouth, though. So there may be some conflict that is going to be coming in. Let's figure out where the conflict is coming. Hold up. We have too many cards that fell out. Libra, 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 speak up. Okay, so I do feel like, and I think, let me see, because it flipped, and I tried to put it back in. Some of you, you may be dealing with something that is going to be coming in, in in your home. So there may be um, some type of conflict that's going to be brought to you. And, of course, we got watch your mouth. We got bees, words are stinging. So... We got one person that their mouth is open and they're talking and the other person is their mouth is closed. They're listening, but they want to talk. So I do feel like that there may be some type of conflict that's coming in with somebody. Now, this could be a partner. This could be somebody that you share a room with, roommate. Um, if you work a lot, this could even be somebody at your job where there is some conflict that's going to be coming in. For some of you, too, it could even be um, something coming in to a spiritual house what does this have to do with love though might be two different energies but we'll get into it but it could be somebody oh, that you are involved with and it looks like it was going well so where does the argument come in let me pick up these other cards all right so some of you definitely there is some type of conflict that's coming in because we got work conflict that's coming in with some other people. So this could be an organization or a group or something that some of you are involved in that you're going to be having some type of conflict with these people. That just happened to me um, last weekend, I think. So it's interesting. Some of you might be coming out of the energy like me. Some of you, it looks like that you may be going into the energy. All right, reconciliation, but it looks like that it could be worked out. Let's see. Okay. And it's like people taking space a long time. So it looks like that two people are going to def definitely have some type of disagreement. Something is going to be said that possibly hurts the other person. It may not be intentional, though, because it starts off with love. Um, and then there are words that are said. Comprehension could be on there. Yeah, conflict. Road opener and one more card spirit. Where is it taking us to? And then we'll see if we can figure out the situation. Okay, fake friends. So I'm wondering, we got two different scenarios. I feel like for some of you, so we had the love thing that came out. Somebody who is, you know, feeling passionate about something. New love coming in. I'm getting to meet somebody, know somebody. I feel really strongly about it. And remember what we said, I think it was even last week. Some of you may have some opposition um, with somebody not really feeling the, the relationship. And I feel like we're still kind of rolling in that energy. I don't know why. But for some of you, you may have something where it is said, something is said about a relationship or a direction that you're moving into. 
with this person. And somebody's words are going to hurt you. So there may even be something, if this is not a, a, a romantic love, I'm wondering if this is a friend or somebody that you were trying to back up. Maybe there was, I am, I care about this person. I love this person. There's some type of opposition that goes against this person or goes against you. And I feel like somebody is trying to defend. But we got conflict that's coming in from some type of work setting or group setting, or this could be a family setting. Now, it looks like it's really bad when it comes in because we got a lot of people involved with it. And then I feel like that because somebody needs to say something, but they're trying not to say something, you may have a peacemaker in the midst. Some of you could be the peacemaker. I don't know about Libra. Sometimes we really are the ones that do the talking, the stinging words. But I feel like that some of you, if you're going into conflict this week with a bunch of people, could be people you work with, could be people that are in your family, could be some type of group or organization that you're in. I feel like that there's somebody that's trying to mediate this, this whatever this is, because we got reconciliation. Come on, let's stop. Let's pull this back together. A long time. Some of you might be holding on to this energy of like, oh, I really don't want to, I still don't want to kind of talk with you right now. And then we have the conflict that is still kind of lingering and fake friend. So I feel like that some of you could be dealing with someone that there's a fallout with. And it's making you look at this person a little bit differently after the fallout. Now, reconciliation is there. So Libra, somebody might be extending the olive branch. If this is you or the one that was causing problems, you may be the one that's extending the olive branch. Um, air signs, that's kind of iffy though. It's kind of iffy because a lot of times when an air sign gets really pissed off, you know, we can become very, very petty. Um, and that could be where this person comes in. You're like, nope, I'm not really trying to uh, talk to you. I'm, you know, blocking you off my phone. I'm blocking you off my social media. I don't want to talk to you. The conflict is still lingering in the background. And then we have you looking at this person like, you know what, you never were a friend to me. Or, you know, I'm seeing a different side of you. Some of you, I think that there's going to be something where maybe you are looking at somebody favorably at the beginning of the week. By the time you come to the end of the week, you're like, man, nah, you're two-faced. You got two sides to you. Now, I feel like that this person is, because they're looking at reconciliation, Libra. I feel like that you're dealing with somebody It's like, okay, come on, let's pull this back together. But I feel like for some of you, there's still something going on underneath the surface may have been that somebody said something because we got words that sting like a bee. Somebody said something that you're still having an issue with. And they may have brought other people in to this conflict and you have an issue with that. Some of you are like, I just don't, I feel like you're pulling away for, what, for whatever this is. So if you're dealing with a lot of people that are in conflict, some of you, it could be for peace of mind. I'm not going there with you. I'm not going to continue this with you. I'm going to let you do what you need to do, but I'm going to pull away. I'm going to spend some time by myself. Conflict is still going on in the background. You're looking at people a little bit differently than you did at the beginning of the week. And it looks like with the road opener, you're moving forward. I don't want anything else to do with this. Let's see what else is coming in with this. Jealousy could be the reason. Evil eye energy is on top of this. So some of you, there may be a fallout or somebody is really trying to pick some type of spite or something with you. And it's because of jealousy that's there. Could it be a, a work project that y'all both working on and this person tried to cause problems with this? If you're a business owner, you may have somebody who's really trying to come in and stir up some problems. There's definitely some type of miscommunication. We got somebody with the mouth closed, somebody with the mouth open could say something to you, but I don't want to say anything to you because I'm trying to diffuse the situation in the person's mouth. It's like everything that comes out is like stinging. Get in where you get in. This could You could be the one, the aggressor in this. You could also be the one that is being passive in this because you don't want this con to continue. If this is somebody that you love or that you were passionate about, it's like, I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to continue this. You know, why are you going back and telling your brothers and sisters about what happened with us? I don't want any type of drama with these people. That's why I'm pulling back. That's why I want to be alone. I'm looking at somebody um, in a different light. And then you still see conflict behind this person. So some of you are looking at this person like you're messy. You're messy. You're doing something to cause some type of confusion. 
but then you have a mediator in the midst of it. And it could be that this person is coming back. Like, come on, let's fix this. Let's go ahead and fix this. Let's mediate this problem out. But some of you are like, I still see conflict behind you. So it could be somebody that's saying, yeah, let's work something out. But then you're realizing that they're still behind the surface trying to cause a problem. And then we have assert yourself. So I think some of you are like trying to keep peace or trying to keep your mouth closed. Because we know that when a Libra opens their mouth, when a Libra opens their mouth, it's like, okay, you, the, I didn't want to give you this fire. I didn't want to give you this heat. I tried to keep my, I tried to keep my peace. And you came at me with this. I pulled back. I pulled back. I was telling you, look, no, you don't want, you don't want none of me. You don't want this. And spirit could be the ones that's telling you to go ahead and say this. You know, some of you, you may be the one, like you say, can't hold your tongue. Definitely, there's some issue with evil eye energy that's coming your way that's causing some type of conflict. For some of you, it's definitely with a group setting. People that you work with, people in your family, group or organization that you're dealing with, there is some energy that is coming out um, that is going to be negative. And I feel like that the only way that you're going to be able to get through this is if you really stand up and put your foot down. Because if I keep pulling, manipulation is coming in. Somebody is trying to manipulate the situation. And why are they trying to do this? They're trying to teach you a lesson. I wonder why, though. Now, this is a general read. This could be somebody trying to teach Libra a lesson. Somebody, uh, Libra could be trying to teach somebody a lesson. But something goes really left, Libras, this week. So I will say be really careful with communication. Don't let yourself be poked. Um... You know, like I said, I just dealt with an energy like this, and it wasn't anything that should have escalated to the point that it escalated. It was like, okay, let me just be quiet, and hopefully it'll go ahead and fade out, because I really didn't want to get started in anything, and it kind of just kept growing, and I was like, what the hell? A long time was definitely on me, like I'm pulling away, but there may be something that's coming in where you are going to have to talk about some type of conflict that you're dealing with this week, if it's a work setting. There may be some type of meeting that you have to go to. If this is family, you may have somebody calling you up and saying, look, let's go ahead and talk and work this out. Reconciliation is showing that somebody doesn't want this to cause problems. But some of you are looking at a person like, I see your true colors. I don't know if we can be cool anymore. Um, and it may be because you feel like that you're being manipulated or you're being played could be somebody maybe doesn't agree with the person that you're dating. They don't agree with the direction that your connection is going in. And they said something that offended you. And you kind of was like, look, no, don't go there with me. But I feel like whatever it is, it's communication issue. I do feel like if this is a falling out with a family member or a friend or a coworker or somebody that was close to you, some of you are not going to feel the same way, same way about this person. It's like, I can't fuck with you anymore like this. We kind of saw this energy last week. Maybe this was a buildup. Maybe this was an energy of you falling in love or putting your energy into somebody else and people being jealous because, oh, you can't spend time with me or, no, or oh, you're not giving me the the energy that I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe gossip a little bit to other people. But it looks like that it blows up. It blows up. The olive branch is extended, but somebody is feeling like, you know what? You did me so dirty. I don't even want to accept this with you. I don't see you the same way. If it's you, I feel like that you're closing something off because you're it's just like, I can't. My energy is not going to allow me to move forward with you anymore. And you got to be true to yourself. If this is you and you feel like that somebody has shown you something and you can't unsee it, you're done with it. You might be cordial, cordial, you might be cordial moving forward. But when it comes to like, we like this, it ain't like that anymore, Libra. It's not like that. There's definitely going to be a disconnect because it's like, I don't trust you. And I feel like you're fake and phony. Jeez. All right, Libras, I wish y'all the best. I mean, I hope y'all don't have to go through it, but I think for some of you, definitely, this is an energy. You could have been like me and dealt with this last year. For some of you, though, you may actually be going into this energy this week or next week. So, you know, I will say choose your words wisely, and if you really know that you don't want to deal with this, then just go ahead and pull away. Cut ties with it just then and there. It's no reason going back and forth for fighting with someone because fake friend is on top of this person anyway, which means you're, what are you fighting for? 
you're fighting with that energy with somebody that isn't even a friend. So it's like, you know what? You ain't, you, you never was cool. So I'm not even going to waste my words and my time on you. You know, go with God, be good, peace out. You know, whatever you want to tell them, Libra, it'll be done. All right, my loves, y'all take care.